Yo, how are you guys doing? I know, I'm getting just as bored with all of this as you guys are. It's getting a bit ridiculous at this point, all this saga, right? But at the same time, it's like, a, it's like an addicting TV show, right? There's been yet another chapter. There's been yet another episode. Um, but I think this will be uh, the final chapter. Just a small quick recap. EA, uh, so I made a second account, an RTG account, and EA banned that account for no reason, no valid reason whatsoever. So I'm like, you know what, the next day, I'll make one last account. I'm not going to keep playing this game of going back and forth with them, uh, of making new accounts, and then they ban them. So I'm like, if they ban this, then it's over. So it was almost like, like a FIFA farewell stream, right? If you please. And um, yeah, I was there playing with a, with a bronze team. With like silver players and even none were gold players and I was having the time of my life I was coming up against these these uh, full meta teams with icons and everything and, and I was there kicking their ass I've never had that much fun playing FIFA since God knows when and I'm, I guess you guys enjoyed watching as well because there were once again 15k beautiful people watching I so thank you very much for that and everything was going a okay and then all of a sudden, my stream was gone. Did my internet cut out? Then, I'm, then my Twitch channel is gone. What? Uh, I received an email from Twitch. They told me that EA Sports copyright striked my channel once again. Reason being, playing FIFA. <laughs> as messed up as that is, they're actually allowed to do that, and Twitch can do nothing about that, nor can I. Uh, they actually got my Twitch suspended for 24 hours because it was the second offense, uh, well, second time they copyright strike my channel. I need to speak to Twitch to try and get those removed because it's, it's actually ridiculous, no? But, yeah, I'm, I guess the summary in all of this. So that's it. I'm not allowed to stream uh, FIFA again. That sounds crazy saying that. Uh, all over something that started with, with me, Albay, a bit harshly attacking an employee because he was blocking people uh, from an official EA Twitter account, including myself, when I've never even mentioned this damn account, and for no valid reason. And something he's still doing to this day. They're still doing to this day, uh, banning people from that account. It's, it's honestly something that I can't believe not a lot of people are actually mentioning. Uh, it's ridiculous, but uh, what well, you know? What can you do? Okay, I tried, and then obviously that happened, and, and it's, it's resulted in this crazy. Um, the part that the part that I I struggle with is I don't think people understand actually. Like I don't want to keep doing this, but comparing, but there were people, you know, the people that were, you know. Uh, Promoting coin selling and, and coin buying. Do you know how much money they cost EA? I, I don't think you guys actually understand. They cost EA millions upon millions upon millions. Um, especially more so in the past, but still doing it now. And guess what? Each and every single one of them, right, is allowed to play FIFA, stream FIFA, and upload FIFA. And then there's poor old me. <laughs> well, I've never cost these guys a damn penny. I've actually made them money, right? I've promoted their goddamn game, which is the irony better than anyone has, right? And and, and I'm the one that I'm not allowed to, to, to play or stream FIFA, actually, or upload FIFA again, which just, just, you know, even saying it makes no sense. Listen, the biggest mistake uh, we made in all of this is that we got as big as we did. That's the only mistake, the, the biggest mistake, excuse me, that we have made. If I was still streaming to less than 1k people, for example, then I could be there sitting doing whatever the hell I want, um, doing whatever I want, saying whatever I want, and, and nothing will come of it. But, but obviously, just because we have the following we now have, that they seen that as a, as a threat, right? That's, that's, that's the bottom line in all of this. Now, the part that I'm getting annoyed with is obviously once again no communication and if 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 I'm being treated as evident like it's very obvious at this point right I am being treated different 
to everyone else, then surely the very least you can do is have some form of direct communication with me, right? Instead of uh, giving me a generic message telling me to make a new account and I make one and you ban it and once again, it's, and then it's just um, statements where I can't even reply. Like, really? Like, you're telling me these guys don't even have the balls or even the decency to just have some form of communication with me. And that is all I ask. And you can't even do that. That's the part that's driving me insane. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's been like uh, two similar bands uh, to mine. I guess you could say it's, it's the Face Jarvis one with, with Fortnite where to be fair, you can't even compare it to mine at all because his was, was, was cheating, right? He was using a name or whatnot. And he got banned for life, which to be fair is very, very harsh. Especially because I think he was doing it not even in a competitive environment. Uh, having said that, you know, cheating is, to me, that's the worst offense, right? If, if you cheat or if you gain an unfair advantage in any competitive uh, video game or in a video game in general or in, or in sports in real life, that's the, you know, the, that's the one where, that's the worst thing you can do in my eyes. So that one is different to mine. And then there's the, the Tyler 1 situation, which I've never really watched any League of Legends. I've, I've, I've done my my research on this um, <laughs> and yeah it's a bit more similar to mine but like my god this guy makes me look like an angel right like what would EA have done with this dude I think they would have they would have locked him up never to see the light of day ever again my god um, but yeah it, the thing with all of this right at the end of the day this is the part that like concerns me the most is that this is kind of like deeper than just me and EA it's just like, it's almost like, is this the power that these, these companies, these video game developers have? Like, it, like it's well within their rights to do so, but is that fair? Is that okay? Should there be a third party monitoring these situations? It's a, it's a bit ridiculous. Listen, we're never going to see a situation like mine again, I'm pretty sure, because um, at the end of the day, no one's that like petty and stupid i have to say um as the ar and not seeing the bigger picture with all of this right so i don't think we'll ever see a situation like it again but it's still it's still very very concerning and um oh yeah and also i i would like to take this time as well to just set the record straight because as much as i appreciate the outbreak of support that there's been especially the last couple of days um from from a lot of the fifa community as well um i want to tell you guys straight away i don't want you guys uh, to stop playing FIFA. Who the hell is beeping the damn horn to stop playing FIFA? Uh, at the end of the day, it's your choice and I will be playing FIFA if I could myself. So please don't, you know, you, you don't have to um, or or like stop buying FIFA points. So that's, it will hurt them a little bit. But on the bigger picture, listen, that's, that's not the thing that's going to get these guys. The thing that will get these guys is if um, a, another football game comes out. That's, that, that equals it or is better, then they're done. Then we got them. Then they're done. But or even any other streamer, by the way, that will you know is like, oh, I'm gonna take a stand and not stream FIFA or, or go out of their way to, to. I appreciate that, but honestly, look at what these guys are capable of. Like, like, be very, very careful. These guys, look what they done to me. I, they won't do it again because with mine it was very, very obvious a, a personal vendetta, but just just do be careful because this is the power they have. They'll shut your Twitch, your YouTube, and, and just like that, you're done for. So, um, and also, this is mainly to my, to my fans, uh, please don't go in uh, other people's, especially in other FIFA streams, and bombard the streamer and, and, and ask them, like force them to speak about the situation and stuff. At the end of the day, it's their choice refrain from doing that because it's it's their stream it's their stream so I, I don't like to say that um but it's i know i know i know there's a few streamers that are like yes ea sports yes let's go we got him well done good job good job yeah it's a lot of these streamers want to be game changers what they don't understand is that at the end of the day listen um i could stream myself having a shit every single morning and I will still get more viewers and I will still make more money than they will um, playing and streaming FIFA every single day for the rest of their lives. Right, so it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. And to conclude, 
uh, I want to address also, I know a lot of you guys are telling me that to seek legal advice or to sue them. And I, I get it, like, but at the end of the day, boys, it's, a, it's an individual taking on a multi-billion dollar company, right? It's, I know I have a case to be for a few, few different scenarios because I understand they were allowed to, to, to not make me play and stream their game if they want to, but honestly, like they've definitely pushed this one way too far, especially comparing situations to everyone else. So, and then me being singled out, but at the end of the day, boys, it's just, it's, it's too much money, uh, money I don't have and, and time and effort it's it's just not something I'm looking to do right now, but I don't know. Um, I just want to focus again on, on myself and just creating content for you guys. I'll be lying if I tell you I'm not scared. I'll be lying. I'll be lying. I, I am very scared, actually. But, you know, I think this goes for any other streamer or content creator when you have to, to move away from the game you've been mainly creating content on for the... Well, since you've started it's it's a bit scary for sure um and i'm not really good at anything else i'm really not the only thing i've ever cared about in life the most is it, it, football why right? it's anything that's to do with football so so my content especially on youtube will mostly still revolve <laughs> around football i'll be i'll be streaming other games um and but the main game i will be streaming uh, will be pass. <laughs> that should be fun. We'll see how it goes. Um, but it's the only thing I know, boys. Uh, football's the one I'm not. Uh, you know, I, I don't have to do music. I don't have to do anything else, right? I, uh, it's just mostly football. Um, so I, I do really ask you guys. I know obviously it's it's, it's FIFA that that I've been doing, but I I do want to ask you guys to, to just give give that content a chance. I I really do believe uh, you'll enjoy it. Um, but yeah, just just a bottom line scenario. I just can't thank you guys enough. At the end of the day, honestly, I know this is just just words, but my God, there are no words. It's been insane, insane, insane support, and I really, from the bottom of my heart, cannot thank you guys enough for this. We will see what the future holds, but I know I've got a strong, strong community, and and I do thank you guys uh, for everything. I'll be back hopefully, like I said, streaming and creating content um, regularly, very, very soon, especially on streaming, and then we'll see how, how YouTube will go. Thank you so much. Until next time, peace.